Hey everybody, welcome back to Bibbidi Bobbidi Bartender. This segment on the Cam Mac Adventures is where I'm gonna teach you how to make your own Disney cocktails from home. And this week, it's a little bit different. I actually got challenged by YouTube viewer Rob Reck to make the Aoa, and he's been very adamant about letting me know about it. So, like I said, I'm willing to take some challenges, so if you have anything you'd like to see me make, please comment it below. But, here's a couple things that you're gonna need to be able to recreate this iconic drink. For tools, you're gonna need a cutting board, a knife, a Yari mixing glass or Pyrex, a cocktail shaker, a juicer, cocktail measuring jiggers, a bar spoon, a swizzle stick or long broad knife, and a lighter. For raw materials, you will need grapefruit juice, BG Reynolds Falernum, or Jot syrup, maraschino cherries, pineapple juice, cinnamon, pog juice or passion fruit orange guava, cinnamon simple syrup, two lemons, two limes, and some sugar cubes. For alcohols, you will need 151 proof rum, Myers Original Dark Rum, and Bacardi Superior Rum. If you've been paying attention to this series, you know one of the first drinks we ever made was the Polynesian Pearl from Trader Sam's Grog Grotto, and in that we used a cinnamon simple syrup. So, I'm gonna show you a little clip from that video showing you how you can make your own. I like to make it fresh, so we're gonna make a cinnamon syrup by starting at the stove on a medium high heat. Now once the pan is nice and hot on the stove, you wanna place two cinnamon sticks in the pot. Leave them there for a few minutes, and after it gets really, really hot, what you're gonna to wanna to do is kinda of move them around a little bit. Get the oils of the cinnamon all over the pan. And believe me, they do get very hot in there, so please watch your hands. Then you wanna put your half cup of water right into the pot. It will boil immediately if the pot is hot enough, and that's what we want. Then it's gonna pull all the flavors right out of the cinnamon and into the water. Once that comes to a rolling boil, go ahead and put your full cup of sugar right in there. Now it's important that you're very quick with this because what you're gonna need to do is stir it around and make sure all the sugar dissolves very nicely in there. Turn it down to medium to low heat and get that nice soft boil continuously going and simmer that uncovered, stirring occasionally for about 15 minutes. Now you can pour your mixture into a Pyrex once it's done cooking and leave that to the side to settle for a little while because it is very hot. Now it's important to know if you leave the cinnamon in there like I just did, it'll actually of course get a little bit stronger in cinnamon flavor, which is what I like, but you can leave it in as long as you prefer. This stuff smells fantastic. You can use this in other drinks, even non-alcoholic ones. I definitely recommend it, but you can save this in a little container once it's cooled and put it in the fridge for quite a while. We're gonna take this back over to the bar and start using it in our cocktail. One of the most crucial ingredients to this drink is Trader Sam's Gorilla Grog, which is actually a blend of different juices and syrups. So we'll start with that and we'll use a portion of it in the drink. First thing you're gonna to need to do is take your Yari mixing glass or Pyrex and put in three ounces of Pog, which is passion fruit orange guava juice. So take your cocktail measuring jigger and measure out three ounces. The next thing you're gonna need is pineapple juice. So make sure it's well shaken and put in one ounce of pineapple juice. After that, we're gonna need half an ounce of Orgeat syrup. Follow that with half an ounce of the BG Reynolds Falernum. And finally, you'll need the juice from half of a lemon. So cut the lemon in half and be very careful when you do. Take your lemon half, place it in your juicer, and juice it right over this. Excellent. So what we're gonna do is gently stir this to combine all the flavors and stir for about four or five seconds just to make sure everything's nicely mixed. When that's done, you'll take it and place it to the side for now. And now it's time to start crafting the drink. So take the first half of your cocktail mixing glass and place it in front of you. And start by introducing four ounces of the Gorilla Grog we just made into the mixing tin. Then follow that with two ounces of grapefruit juice. I prefer ruby red because it has a little sweeter of a flavor for the beverage. And now you'll need half an ounce of cinnamon syrup.
For the last non-alcoholic ingredient, you will need half an ounce of lime juice. So start by cutting a lime in half. Take your lime and squeeze it over a jigger until you have half an ounce of lime juice. Just like that. So what we have now is all of the least expensive ingredients in the beverage. I always tell you to start with those. That way if you mess up the drink, you're not wasting any alcohol. So, next thing you're gonna need is your Meyers Dark Rum. And you're gonna need two ounces of that. Last but not least, make sure you grab two ounces of your white rum. Now this one's gonna feature a quick shake without ice, and the reason you're gonna do that is because A, the presentation takes a little while, and B, it's gonna be over crushed ice, so it will get cold eventually. So start by tapping the top of the mixing tin, make sure it's nice and secure, and give it about a five second good shake. All right, now that all your ingredients are combined, what you're gonna do is set that to the side for just a moment. Now the garnish is one of the most iconic garnishes of any beverage I've ever seen. This one makes a big statement. So what we're gonna do is start with the other half of our lime and cut a nice flat surface on one side of it. Place it out in front of you just like this. So with the half lime with the base cut off in front of you, make sure you grab your sugar cubes and you're gonna place four of them out in a pyramid style. So place one out front, one in back, and one on the side, and then one just on top. That's gonna be the main part of your garnish. So set that to the side for just a moment and let's grab some crushed ice for our actual vessel. And by the way, a huge shout out to my friends, the Magic Dads, Steve and Mike. They have a YouTube channel and they do drinks from home as well as Disney recipes during the quarantine. They're fantastic guys with an adorable kid and they lent me this mug so I can make this video for you. So make sure you go check them out and subscribe if you like the content. So now that you have your Ooa glass full of ice, make sure you take the mix and pour it carefully on in there. Just like that. Take your garnish, place it directly in the center, and it'll float just like that. Now all you need is a couple maraschino cherries, so take them and just place them right around the outside. You'll need about three. So what you're gonna need to do now is take a towel and just clean out all those little totem tops on the outside of the glass. And that's important because we're gonna place some dry cinnamon just around all these edges. And that creates one of the most interactive elements of any beverage I've ever seen. So carefully take your cinnamon and start putting little bits of it around the edge of the glass. Carefully take your 151 and pour it over the center sugar cube and it'll drip into the rest of them just like that. Now 151 is over 50% alcohol and what that means is it's flammable. So what's gonna happen now, I'm gonna light the sugar cubes, call the tiki gods, and it's gonna be a great drink. Here we go, a oa. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, say it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yes. Now there's an interactive element. This drink is on fire. So take your cinnamon and throw it just like this to create some sparks and awaken the tiki gods. Oh yes. Look at that. Oh man, this is great. Now the ceremonial chant. Uh oh, 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 uh. When you mess with Polynesia. The tiki gods will squeeze ya! <laughs> Look at that! Alright! Now take your bendy straw, put it in a funny shape, and stick it on into the cocktail. Ladies and gentlemen, mahalo for watching. This is the Aoa. Oh man, that is delicious. I am definitely gonna be drinking this all alone and without my wife. Wait! I'm just kidding. I'll, I'll share some of it with you. Well, there you have it. The Aoa from Trader Sam's Grog Grotto at the Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. This was a challenge from a viewer of mine, and you can challenge me too. If there's any Disney cocktails you'd like to see on the show, make sure to comment them below. Also, if you have any questions, place those there too. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button to show your support, and if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a single video, upload, or cocktail. Until next time, I'm Cam Mack of Bibbidi Bobbidi Bartender on the Cam Mack Adventures. We'll see you soon.